I'll get their jewels on her. <laughs> she must be worth a fortune. Didn't that tell you? Why, she must be worth 20000 at least. <laughs> Will you look at that little lady sparkle? Can I help you, my sons? Sure, Padre. You can give us the statue. What? Santa Teresita? But she's our patron saint. Her image has never left the church since the day it was opened. I can't give her to you. She's not mine to give. Ooh, did I say 20,000? She must be worth 40,000. <laughs> the brutal attack on Father Antonio. The good Padre had grown old serving our community. Through the years, his unselfish aid to those in need had endeared him to people of all faiths. In a way, his job and mine were alike, but our methods had to be different because he upheld the law of God and I defended the law of man. I don't understand. I don't understand him at all. Smitty, thank goodness you're back. Maybe you can do something with him. Father Antonio? He regain consciousness? Yeah, but he won't tell me anything. I've been with him for the last hour trying to find out something. Well, didn't he see anything? Oh, he saw who did it all right. He'll admit that, but he won't tell me who. Or if there was more than one, nothing. Why not? Well, he claims it's going to lead to more violence. Says we've had enough of that already. You know, Smitty, that statue's worth a fortune. Give from the king of Spain. Padre's the only one who can help us get the guys. And he won't help us unless we agree to his terms. His terms? Well, what are they? Ah, oh, they're out of the question. Smitty, you know him better than I do, though. Why don't you talk to him? I will. But whatever you do, don't agree to his terms. Tom. How are you, Padre? Oh, I am gaining strength fast. That's good. You're always comforting the sick and injured, but now who is there to visit you? You have, Tom. Well, that's true, but mine is not exactly a friendly call. Oh? Did you see the man who hit you? Yes, Tom. I could give you a very accurate description. Well, then, why didn't you tell that to George Romack? If I told you who robbed us, what would you do? Well, I'd go after him, of course with guns and bullets, more bloodshed, maybe even kill him. Well, sometimes there's no other way. I think there is, Tom. God's way, the way of faith and prayer. Now look, Padre, you and I have been friends for a long time. I know you're a man of peace, and I respect your motives. But sometimes a peaceful way isn't possible. You, you can't just face an outlaw's gun and pray your way to safety. Have you ever tried it, Tom? No. And I don't intend to. Then I'm afraid I can't help you. Well, what about the statue? The symbol of your church. Surely your parish wants it back. If it's God's will, we'll get it back. Padre, what I need here are some facts, not wishful thinking. Unless you talk, my hands are tied. I can't do anything. But I will, Tom, on one condition. What is that? That you promise me there will be no killing, no bloodshed of any kind. Tom, you must go unarmed. Padre. 
promise you not to take a gun. When I go after an outlaw, sometimes it, you know, it's his life or mine. Well, Tom, a gun is only a piece of metal. Would you put more faith in its protection than in God's? I'd feel a lot better if I had both on my side. I am sorry. While we're arguing, the criminal's getting further away. I don't go after him, he'll rob again, maybe even kill. I do go after him under your terms. Maybe signing my own death warrant. Oh, Tom, if I really believed that, I would never allow you to go. You see, I put my faith in God, not in bullets. All right, Padre. You win. I'll give you my word, but you'd better do a lot of praying. Here's answer to the telegrams we sent. Two men fitting the description of the outlaws passed through Elwood around noon, heading south. South, huh? Now that figures. Small towns and few lawmen. But, Smitty, why'd you have to go and agree to his terms? No guns, nothing. The only way I could get him to talk, George. Then at least let me go with you, huh, Smitty? I can pack a gun. I didn't make no promises to the Padre. That's exactly why you can, go. I gave you my word. Now, you honestly believe you can keep it? Padre does. Smitty, what chance you got against two dangerous outlaws armed to the teeth? Don't you worry, George. According to the Padre, I've got a mighty powerful partner on my side. The country south of Denver is big and wide and empty as all get out. And the towns are few and far between. to give up when I rode into Pecos Springs. It was the last town this side of the desert, just a wide place in the road, but not too small to have a watchmaker and jeweler shop. The statue of St. Teresita was easily recognizable. It would be a dead giveaway, but before they could get rid of it, they'd have to have the jewels removed, and for that, they'd need a professional jeweler. like you're the guest of honor. Of course, I reckon you didn't figure on attending this party. Or was it the soft-hearted Padre talked you into coming after us without no gun? Jeweler, huh? Yeah. We had to rough him up a bit. You see, he heard about the statue and he didn't want to touch it. So we was helping him to change his mind. At least you still got it. Yeah. <laughs> Until we get the jewels out of it. Well, we can't hang around here to do it. There's no telling how many others are following us. That's right. But this here's one that ain't gonna follow us no further. You know any prayers, Smith? You better say them now. It's funny. A friend of mine said the same thing a couple of days ago. <laughs> you know, that sounds like the positive. He figured he was gonna need some help, too. Maybe. Well, you're gonna need help, all right, but you ain't gonna get it. You know, the Padre ought to go along with what I'm about to do. Like it says in the good book, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Lasco, get it over with. Now, don't you go rushing me, Joe. You know how it is with me and lawmen. Why, well, we got ourselves a famous lawman here. We got to do this upright. <laughs> You all right? 
think so. I guess I'm just hard-headed. How about you? Oh, I'm all right. Who are you? Police detective in Denver. Crazy news too without a gun? Yeah. Look here, mister. I got a long-range rifle in the closet and all the bullets you need. That's a real tempting offer. Sorry, I can't take you up on it. desert in all my life. Do you reckon we'll ever get across to Alaska? You bet we will. Now, don't you go thinking about that old desert. Just think how it's gonna be when we cash in on this here statue, huh? <laughs> Women, money, high living. Hey, easy on that water. We've got a lot of hard traveling to do. We ain't gonna get very far on that without no water. Yeah, well, let's get moving. Or to catch up to us. Relax, boy. You're safe as in your mother's arms. Come on. Hey. Hey. safe to light a fire. Anyone follow us might see <laughs> How many times I gotta tell you? Ain't nobody fool enough to follow us out here. Mm -hmm. Well, just the same. I'm gonna keep watch tonight. Teams are gone, too. I told you we was being followed. Now we ain't got nothing. No horses, no water. And they're just waiting out there to kill us. Get a hold of yourself, man. He ain't got us beat, not yet, not by a long shot. He? How do you know there ain't no whole army out there? Because if they was, they wouldn't have wasted time stampeding the horses that had taken us. That's who I think it is. He ain't probably even got a gun. Let's go! Your horses are gone, and I've got your water! You can't get a 
curse the rest of the desert without it. Might as well give up now. Is that you, Smith? It's me, Latsko. We you slugged him. It's like he was charmed. How come he got the strength to follow us? I don't know. I just don't know. But I do know this. There's only one of him out there, and there's two of us, and we both got guns. The odds are still in our favor. What are we going to do? There's no telling where he is out there. We're going to wait till it's daylight. Hey, well, supposing he don't wait. Supposing he just takes off and leaves us without horses or water. He ain't going nowhere. Not while we still got the lady. He wants her more than he wants us. Oh, that statue is a Jonah. He brought us nothing but bad luck. Moore, you worse than a fretting woman. I never know that it gets so hot so fast. You see any sign of him yet? How long we gonna wait? Why don't we just go looking for him? Well, that's what he wants us to do. Be what little protection we got. With him horsebacking and us afoot, he'd run us ragged all over that desert. We'd never get within gunshot of him. How long do you think we'd last out in that sun? About two hours without water. He's gone. I know he's gone. Ah, he's still there. When he gets ready, he'll let us know where he is. And there's still two of us to his one. Uh, I gotta get out of the sun. You two come up here. Leave your guns down there. So you can ride in and pick them up while we climb the hill? Not a chance, Smith. You want us, you're going to have to take us. That's going to be kind of hard without a gun. All I have to do is wait. I've got the water. You can't hold out much longer. Okay, he's right, last. He can outlast us. He's tired of waiting, too. He'll show himself. And we'll get him. He may have the water, but we got the shade, and it's a lot hotter on him in the sun. We'll wait. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of waiting. Smith! Where are you? Smith! 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 Here I am. What is your fool? He's out of range. <laughs> you two getting thirsty yet? It's a long day ahead of you. I'm sure enjoying this water. Yes, God. I gotta have water. Shut up. It won't work, Smith. You're hotter than we are. We got the shade. We'll wait. All right, Lasco. That's the way you want it. I'm tired of hanging around. I think I'll move on. Tell you what I'll do. I'll leave you a canteen of water here. I hope you enjoy it. What's he up to? He's pouring water. Look at it up there. What? 
just waiting for someone to come up and get it. Muller, 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 it's a trap. He's waiting to ambush us. Trap or no trap? I'm gonna get that water. Muller! Muller, don't be a fool! It's a trap! It's only going to take one bullet to kill him. Where's our gun of bullets? He won't let us come near him as long as we're carrying our gun belts. I ain't talking about the bullets in these. I'm talking about the bullet in this. You turn off that hill with those guns, and I'll ride out of here and leave you. Smith! You will! We'll trade our guns for some water. All right. Drop your gun belts right where you are. Now come down that hill slow. Keep your hands up. Thank you. 